Hello! Thank you for being in a new video. On this occasion I have a rather special unboxing, the newly introduced GoPro Hero 13 Black, and I'm going to show you some additional accessories that will be available. Let's get started. You should know that this box that I have in front of me, it's not for sale. It's a special edition that they sent me because it includes some additional accessories. Just so you're aware of that, because this is not the box that is sold in the current market. But let's open it up and note, please note, this generation comes with a whole kit of accessories available. There will be an amphorphic lens available, although this is not yet available at the time of recording this video. Also available will be the macro lens at a price of 2,699 pesos. On the screen, you see the reference price in dollars, just to give you an idea but remember that the prices here are not the same as over there an ultra wide lens will also be available so if you thought the lens that the GoPro already came with was too wide well this one is even wider at a price of 2,099 pesos again you see the price on the screen and there will also be several filters available that those who know about film or professional video recording will appreciate the set of four filters will be priced at 1,399 pesos Again on the screen you see the reference price in dollars. The camera will have an introductory price of 8,499 pesos. But here is something very important for you to know. Having said all this information, let's get to each of these accessories so we can get to know them. Here we have for example the new camera. Obviously in shape and size it will be very similar to what we already know. Don't expect a radical change there. It keeps these tabs on the bottom to have a much faster clip magnetically. It keeps this external display and of course here we have the top quality lens over here is going to be the I already made a mistake I peeled the lens off I made a mistake at the most crucial moment of the unboxing well I was telling you that here is the main screen in a moment I will tell you more features of this new generation for now I want you to see everything that's built in here. The first thing we come across over here is the kit filters that will be available. Notice ND4, ND8, ND16 and ND22. These are going to take the intensity out of the light so you can have a completely different style in your video. And over here we have the other lenses that we're also going to be able to attach to the camera. The truth is that this new proposal is very interesting. But before we go any further, let me finish taking out absolutely everything that comes in the box. Look, this is the magnetic clip that will allow you to easily change the camera mount by simply pressing on these sides. And that's it. You can take it off. So for now, that's what's included. In fact, note that the anamorphic lens is not yet included in this kit that was sent to me. It will be available soon. Let's see. Here comes a little bit of additional information as well. There's the user's guide for this series of lenses. I'll show you in a moment how to put them on and take them off. There's also a guide on how to use this magnetic mount. Additional warranty information. Information on the application with which we are going to be able to link the camera with our smartphone. They also show us how to place the card and all this information. And in general, paperwork of a lifetime. But notice that there are also stickers in four different colors. And let's see what else. Well, we found a second mount here. So I have two of these accessories. And we're going to find the traditional mount here as well. Remember, you can attach this to some helmet or somewhere else eh, so that you can then attach the camera to this area. In this part, there are some screws to be able to adjust all these mounts and bases, everything you need. And they also sent me a card to be able to test the camera. Here's your battery and your charging cable. Look, there's also a little cloth for cleaning these lenses. So that's it. Let me take the box off so we can focus on the camera and its lenses. Nesticas. And well, I've already got the camera on here so we can more or less take a look at it. But the first thing I want you to notice is that we can remove this lens as I was anticipating. We flip it to the left. And at this point we can insert some other lens. Notice that they have a blue color indicator that should obviously match the blue indicator that's on the camera. So we simply put it in and then after that we do the twist. And notice how the camera will immediately recognize this new lens. Once we put it in, the icon that is showing us which lens we are using changes. And also its name appears at the top, ultra wide angle in this case. 
which is definitely an exaggeratedly wide lens. Notice that even this part still manages to capture and I've got the camera really close to the table so it's very very wide this lens and the interesting thing about it is that it maintains its water resistance. So it can be submerged even with this interchangeable lens feature, in this case up to 5 meters deep with this ultra wide lens. However, remember that there is also another lens that we are going to attach right now. We're going to remove this ultra wide angle lens and then we're going to attach the macro lens in exactly the same way. Put it on, rotate it and you're done. Notice that in this case it detected that it's the macro focus. So now with this lens the device does have the ability to give us a little bit more precise focus. But we're not talking about autofocus, we're talking about manual focus. Notice that here we'll find a ring that we're going to be able to turn to adjust the focus. So close objects we're also going to be able to have them in focus with this ring. And with this macro lens module we are going to have a water resistance of up to 1 meter depth. But besides this incorporation of the new lenses, let me tell you some other novelties that we are going to find in this camera. It is interesting without a doubt the fact that they give us this capability, that you can choose the lens that you consider most appropriate at the time of making any production, especially at a more professional level. Yeah, man, I but I've already put the traditional lens back on so that we can explore absolutely all the functions of this camera. Because in this case, it will also offer us something very interesting. Because it offers us, in addition to the HDR that we already had last generation, an HLG mode. But for that, we need to disable the easy controls mode because we require professional controls to be able to access this feature. So notice that it lets us shoot in different framing ratios to begin with. Obviously, if you want to create content that you can easily adapt it both horizontally and vertically, you can use this square ratio setting, which as I say is going to give us some really good tools. But what I was showing you is that it now allows us to shoot in a very advanced format with a tremendous amount of color for a much more advanced post-production. So in addition to the log and HDR format we are going to find in the ProTune section. The color mode that in this case when you are in log mode only that option remains as default. But if you choose HDR you will also find the HLG option. This will give us a tremendous amount of data for a super advanced post production. Obviously you need a compatible monitor to be able to play back the HDR recorded content in the quality that you expect. So we have much more professional features in this camera. Of course if you don't consider yourself that advanced. You can simply leave the standard settings and go back to easy mode. Personally I prefer the pro control so I have a lot more options to manipulate on the camera. As usual here you can control how wide of a lens we are going to find in conjunction with other stabilization support. Of course with Hyperview you are going to find a tremendous level of amplitude. It really is very good. Although we do find a lot more deformation than we find when you use the ultra wide lens. Within this pro mode remember that you can also create several presets of different video styles. Since another new feature is that in this case the camera is going to be able to record in slow motion quite interesting. It can go up to 120 frames per second in 5.3K, also 360 frames per second in 900p which would be an intermediate between full HD and HD or up to 400 frames per second in HD. Of course you choose if you want a slower scene but with less resolution or a slower scene with a very high resolution. The truth is that in all that it is a camera that has evolved with respect to the last generation. Also note that it will allow you to configure shortcuts. In this case so that you can customize 100% the user interface that shows you when you are recording. In this case we only have two shortcuts because we are in slow motion mode. But in the video mode you can see that there are these four shortcuts that we can now fully customize. And well I forgot to tell you a little bit more about the filters that we will also have available. That will not only be filters of the amount of illumination as I mentioned a moment ago. But they will also allow you to create some blur effects in conjunction with a different shutter speed much more creative. This I insist I think is for the more professional who require a greater number of tools. So it is very good news that GoPro is giving this possibility.
Notice how, for example, in this case it looks like a mirror, but in reality it is a filter. Obviously in this case, as we are in an indoor scenario, the light has been reduced significantly by applying this filter which is the darkest. So these types of filters are usually used outdoors when there is very strong light. But again, these are practically professional level tools that we are getting. Let's put for example the ND4 and see the difference. It doesn't look like a full mirror if it looks a little bit translucent. But I insist in this case that we are simply doing the unboxing is not so easy to notice the difference or the application and use of these filters. But in the video review, I will show you in much more detail the result with these different effects. But for now, see how it also gives this effect a little slower movements in order to generate a blur that makes it look like a scene with much more action. But I insist that we will demonstrate that in the video review. For now, we are just doing a quick overview of the main new features. For example, another important improvement will be the battery which is now 10% larger than the last generation and above all you will notice the difference when recording in high resolutions if you record in full HD the battery life will be more or less similar to the last generation but if you record in high resolutions which is where the battery can be consumed very quickly there will definitely be an important evolution in fact this generation also introduced a new cover for this section of the battery because remember you could replace this cover and put a completely new cover on it that's going to allow you to have magnetic pins so that you can be powering the camera with direct current so you're not completely dependent on the battery so I think it's been a very focused evolution to the professional level adding this kind of improvements. DC power, interchangeable lenses, filters, the ability to record in HLG and something I was forgetting to tell you is that it also now integrates GPS again. We're going to find it also here in the configuration which is something that wasn't there in the last generation. Surely there will be some other improvements. For now this is what I can tell you as first impressions and unboxing of this camera. Remember that in the video review I will have much more information about it. For now we have reached the end of this video. If you liked it you know you can tell us and we'll see you next time.